Yo, what's good, my people? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here. I know you guys have been waiting all day to see what your boy have been wearing. My scent up to date is from Karen Lowe. And this is one that I recently picked up not too long ago. And the name of this one is called Pure Vibe for Men. I actually showed this fragrance and two other flankers the other day when my package came in and it kind of reminded me of um, one of the bottles that came in. Um, this one, although it smells great, I will get into what I actually think of this one in a few minutes. So, first up, I'm going to do this video without the hat on today because it is hot and I don't feel like having nothing on my head. So the hat is here just in case Mr. Cheap Sense still highly thankful and grateful. So put that back here. I actually was e eating on some sweet potato pie. Actually, you see mostly the crust because I don't too much like the crust, but that's what's left of the pie that I got last night from my mom's house. And my um, Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. So, let's get to it. First off, as I said before, I like these bottles. Um, they actually remind me of the Ancre Noir bottles by Lalique. And this one came with no box. It actually, you can find these at TJ Maxx for like $12.99. And I, I peeled the sticker off earlier this morning. So... You can find these for $12.99. Now, I know Perfume World here in our local mall was selling these for like $40-something, which is ridiculous to me. Um, and I tell people all the time, if you want to try these fragrances, although they are the lower end of the totem pole, some people are going to say generic and synthetic smelling, in which they are. Um, I just hate those two words. Um, because it feels like when people say that it kind of deters them from fragrances. If you want to try something, that's your choice. That's your prerogative to try anything or whatever you like to try. Um, if you want to try smearing crap all over your face and your body and walking around in public, that's your choice. Uh, I'm going to stay far away from you, but that's still your choice. Um, but I don't mind trying fragrances like this because, you know, I choose to do this on my own. I Sometimes I don't review fragrances before I buy them or look up note breakdowns. Sometimes I just see something in a store and I just want to try it. And if it's reasonably priced enough, then there's nothing wrong with that. But I get people in my inbox or comment section that always saying that I'm wasting my time and why not? yada 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 and well it's my life and I can do what I want to do with it I don't go on other people's websites or uh, comment sections and say you shouldn't buy this or you shouldn't buy that I voice my opinion as my personal opinion and I always let that be known this is my personal opinion personally speaking I don't like this fragrance for yada 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 and yada 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 just because I don't like it doesn't mean that the next person is not going to like it. Somebody's nose may be set or trained for niche or higher end fragrances like Chanel and stuff like that and not be tuned for this anymore. They might have graduated from this. So, of course, anything below what they have is going to smell cheap. It's going to smell synthetic, generic, whatever you want to call it. So... Leave people alone, man. Like, I, me personally, I'm tired of people jumping in my comment section and telling me what I should and what I shouldn't do and where I'm wasting my time at. 
That's my choice. Whether you like it or not, I'm still going to buy from where I want to buy. I'm going to order from Fragrance X. I'm going to order from, I'm going to go buy from TJ Maxx. I'm going to buy from Ross. I'm going to buy from Bills, Burlington, wherever. The cheapies. So you either just going to deal with the content that I'm putting out or you're just not going to deal with it and you can simply unsubscribe. I really don't care, um, personally speaking. I don't. I would like my subscribers to stay true and stay loyal, but without all the extra. I know people want me to be great and want me to do better, but let me do this in my own way, in my own time. I appreciate constructive criticism, but telling me where to shop or where not to shop, that's not your choice to make for me. I make that for myself. And the reason why I'm getting off subject right now is because I saw this same thing in somebody else's post on Facebook. Um, they posted a picture of, what was it? They found, um, damn it. It was a fragrance I found also in TJ Maxx. I can't remember what it was, but excuse me. They found a fragrance and the price was not bad, but somebody commented and said the same thing that somebody says in mine. Um, why do you keep wasting your time um, shopping discount stores? And actually it was a uh, fragrance obsessions. He found something. That's who it was. But I can't remember what the fragrance was and he wanted people's opinion on it. And um, somebody, of course, jumped in his comment section and said that you keep wasting your time shopping retail, going to the stores. And my comment under that was the Internet has made people lazy as hell. All we do or all people do is sit in front of a computer or sit with their phone in their hand all day. And people just come and drop fragrances or packages off at the front door. And you don't even have to step outside of your house. I don't want to be antisocial like that. And the only people that I... I don't want to just be only talking to people who are on the other end of the screen. I want to talk to people face to face. I want to get out and meet people and see stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Stores are actually being shut down because of the internet. Because people are so lazy and don't want to go to places like um, what's closed here now or finna close down. Um, J.C. Penney's is shutting down. Sears has already gone out of business. Um, what's the other place? Payless is actually in the process of shutting down. Um, there are so many stores that are shutting down due to the fact that people don't frequent those stores or don't spend money or generate, spend the revenue from their cities and towns in those stores. They would much rather go online and be lazy and scroll up a page instead of going to the stores and, you know, going through the racks and looking through the clothes and seeing people and, you know what I'm saying? It just saddens me. Like the internet, yes, is a great thing. It's revolutionary. It's changing the world. But it's also making people lazy. It's making people couch potatoes. Uh, all people want to do is sit around and be on social media all day and be on video games all day. And that's just not me, man. It's not me. Um, I like to get out. I like to see people. There are a lot of beautiful people in this world. There are a lot of gorgeous women out there. Um who I always like to go out and see what people are wearing, um, you know, how people are interacting with each other, because I'm a people person. I love people. Um, I don't trust a lot of people because of past experiences, but people are, are beautiful, man, and we need to get back to that and stop letting the Internet take control of our lives because, you know, it's just saddening, man. But anyway... Um, this fragrance was $12.99, pure vibe for men. And there are several different flankers 
And the other two I have, I think, is like pure gold and red. Red. And I'm assuming that these are clones because red smells like Polo Red or Polo Red Extreme. And somebody said gold smell like something else, which I can't pick up on it right now what it is. And I've just read somewhere that this one smells like something also, but I don't know. But um, from what I'm gathering from other people's comments and other people's sections, um, these are clones of popular fragrances. So whatever the case may be, these would work for someone who is not financially stable enough to go out and spend 60, 70, 80, 90, or 100 and something dollars for a fragrance. When they can just go pick up one of these for twelve ninety nine, and you know smell good. <sighs> Upside, they smell great. At least this one. I'll speak for this one right now. It smells great. The downside is performance is lackluster at best. You may get an hour, hour and a half, maybe an hour and a half. I know you'll get an hour for sure of decent projection out of this. Longevity, you will probably get about three, three and a half, pushing four hours, if that. Being on the low end side, three hours of longevity out of this. I reapplied this like three times today. And the last time I sprayed this on was lunchtime, so about 12 o'clock, and it's what, 3.16 right now? It's damn near gone. So, that's telling you right there, from 12 or 12.30 to about 2.30, 3 o'clock, yeah, that's a little over three hours, so... I was right on the money. I got about three hours of longevity out of this. Which for a $12.99 fragrance is not particularly bad. I will say that. Because if you're like me who don't mind reapplying throughout the day. Um, I can spray vigorously with something like this that is cheap. And not feel bad about running out if it runs out. So with that being said. Note breakdown. Let me hit the Kool-Aid real quick. And I'm going to say this too. Videos like this for the cheapies, I understand, are not for everybody. So if something like this doesn't interest you, you do not have to comment. Uh, you don't have to leave smart remarks or uh, be a smart ass about fragrances like this. This isn't for you. So you don't even have to watch this full video. You can just click off of it right now and go on about your business. Watch Jeremy Fragrance talk about his own fragrance or watch somebody do a review on Creed in which there are like 100,000 videos on Creed on here. You can watch one of those. This isn't for you. This is for the people who can afford those fragrances like that, who can Go out and buy something cheap like this, inexpensive, and smell decent for a few hours and not feel bad about spending the money. So, take heed to that. This is your time right now before I go into the note breakdown. If you don't want to see any more of this video, if your feelings are hurt by what I'm saying, go somewhere else. Three, two, one, carrying on. Now... Note breakdown. It says Pure Vibe is an eau de toilette for men in our special fragrance collection. And this is coming from, of course, the company that makes this fragrance. Uh, it is a warm and intensely masculine fragrance that has aquatic and citrusy notes along with woody undertones. There is a hint of sensual rose and delicious vanilla complementing the warm aromatic blend top notes you're going to get bergamot granny smith which is a granny smith apple lavender and aquatic notes 
mid notes you're going to get oak moss in which I thought oak moss was banned from being used in fragrances so if oak moss is not in this um, there could be something else that they use in the place of oak moss that still kind of gives it that vibe and they just didn't take the oak moss name out of the mid notes they just used oak moss so whatever the case may be it is what it is but there's oak moss rose cashmere wood in this and base notes you get musk gray amber and vanilla um, it does not tell me when this fragrance was released and I'm really not sure if a lot of people even care when it was released uh, for those of you who care about this code it is M2568 C2958 so anyone who cares about that and that is coming from the sticker on the bottom in the middle um not a bad bottle design. I kind of like it. Like I said, it reminds me of the Ancre Noir bottles. Um, this one is not see-through. You cannot see through this that I can tell right here. Um, top does snap somewhat into place. I don't trust it because it may that uh, pop off. Atomizer is not bad. I think that's pretty damn good smells amazing you do not you do not get an alcohol blast in this I mean there you can tell there's a little bit of alcohol but it's not stringent like most fragrances when you first spray it on and you sniff it and you're like oh you don't get that with this it actually opens quite nice I like the fragrance um do I wish that it performed better as far as projection? Yeah. If I could have got at least two hours, maybe a decent, yeah, a decent two hours out of it, maybe two and a half would have been cool and probably like five hours to six hours of longevity. That would have been good, but I got an hour, maybe a little over an hour and, um, Oh, that's the maintenance guy. So I got about an hour, um, hour and a half maybe out of it. Um, and a good three, three and a half hours maybe of uh, longevity. So it's not too bad. I'm hoping that the other two fragrances that I have perform a little better than this one. But, you know, I think these bottles will look nice in the collection. I don't have a problem with that, even if I don't wear them. You know, it's still going to look uniform, and I can get rid of some of the other older fragrances that I don't really use that non-name brand type stuff. So, either way it goes, pretty decent fragrance. I would not recommend this fragrance at all for anyone who has a very, um, has a collection that is, um, over the top or higher end fragrance. Um, collection this will not fit into that at all unless you do or are looking excuse me looking for a cheapy type fragrance that will help you not use any of your good fragrances then something like this will work perfectly or you can find something like maybe a Versace pour home or you know something fresh because this is along that line of fresh somewhat aquatic um it's nice but some people may not like it but anyway i like it and it is what it is so with that being said guys i'm gonna end this video here hopefully tomorrow i am able to get this fragrance out um i had traded 
um, Invictus Aqua, the 2018 version, in which I wasn't impressed by it. And if I ever get the need to want to have that fragrance again, I'll just find it again. It's no problem. Um, I traded it for Halloween and what was the other one I traded for? It was Halloween and Club de Nuit, the original Club de Nuit, not the Intense Man in the Black Bottle. It was the one in the clear bottle. And I will be doing a first impression video on that maybe sometime coming up in the near future. But as of right now, this video is done, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being loyal subscribers. Um, keep telling people about the channel. I'm doing my best to advertise and put my name out there on you, uh, Facebook right now. I may jump back into Instagram and try to put some advertising out. But as of right now, we are still on the low end of the totem pole with subscribers. Um, I thought I was in the 300s, but I'm actually still in the 250 range. So it's a slow process. It is what it is, guys. And if I don't get to a thousand anytime soon, then it's fine. It's no big deal. Um, I know there are a lot of other reviewers who are way better than I am that have way better background than I do. Way better content, way better fragrances, and that's what people are into these days. They're not into these cheapies and um, stuff like that. There, There is a market for it. There are people out there who really like these videos that I do, but I understand how the game goes, and I haven't been doing this for a long time. I'm not the greatest talker. My tongue is not slick enough for a lot of people. I don't have a lot going on. I don't have these beautiful women in my videos that I'm asking questions to. And so it is what it is. But anyway, I need to finish off the rest of this pie and see if I can catch me a nap before work. Thank you guys once again for being loyal subscribers. I'm out. Peace.